Night Side Project. Finish the day happy, happy with Ethan Millard and Alex Keery on KSL News Radio. Welcome, my name is Becky Bruce. I'm guest hosting for the Nightside Project, and I am with Layla Kilborn, who is a cinematographer uh, with a film here at Sundance called This Is Home. Uh, really exciting film, actually. We're going to be interviewing, I think, the director and the Princess of Jordan later this weekend. Very but nice. I'm interested to know um, what the process was like for you and what your thoughts are about the film. Well, it was a challenging film because most of the film is in Arabic. They were filming um, Syrian refugees four families settling in Baltimore. And the idea is to make more accessible to everyone what the experience of being an immigrant to this country is and what, what it's like to learn America when you first arrive here. Um, but they come and they don't, most of them didn't speak much English. So in filming them, they were speaking, their conversations were in Arabic and it's a verite film. So the sound uh, mixer, Joss Isaac and I, had to go mostly by guesswork in terms of figuring out what was happening in front of us because we didn't understand them. So usually usually you follow the conversation and you film who's ever talking and you know what the next thing's going to be by what they just said. We didn't have any of that. We had to go by body language and what we knew about the context of the situation. Um, and that was an unusually challenging experience. Was that um, different for you than any previous projects you've done? Yeah, very different. Um, it actually, we had to change the way we shot a little bit because because when you have a film that's largely subtitled, the experience as an audience viewer is uh, you don't want too much movement really with the camera because you have to read a lot. So the editor's note to me was hold longer on subjects, um, follow follow with one person for a while and then transition to somebody else, even if they're not speaking, because it's going to be subtitled anyway. So the question is. What is, it, what is the, the feeling of the action and the feeling of the moment as opposed to following action as it happened like this? So that was a very unusual note from an editor. You don't usually get that kind of note. So um, cinematography, how do you get into that? Well, I got into it by way of still photography, which I really enjoyed, but it wasn't quite, it wasn't quite fun enough. I wanted things to be moving and I wanted to be responding to events in real time. Um, so I ended up migrating into documentary cinematography. Uh, which is all about that and it's it's really just about telling a story about responding to someone's an event in someone's life or a passion that they have or whatever it is that you're, you're talking about um, responding to that and being present in the moment and capturing it on, on film or these days digital yeah and Sundance I mean this is a big deal it is. It's fun. I've been here a couple times with different films, and every time is exciting. It never gets old. Um, and I'm really our premiere is tomorrow at 5:30 at the Egyptian. So everyone come. <laughs> very excited about it. Yeah. Um, in fact, I'm very much looking forward to meeting uh, some of the people in the film. Uh, but I'm I'm curious to know from a local standpoint here. If I, yeah. you know, a photography student, uh, thinking about what I want to do, and I'm hearing you and this interview, what's your inspiration? What's your advice? Well, I think you, my my pursuit has always been what I'm passionate about and what gets me excited to go to work every day. Um, so if you feel that strongly about something, then pursue that. And filmmaking is not an easy life. It's not easy to get into, it's not easy to maintain. So you have to really want to do it. Um, and part of what's sustaining about it is that everyone who's doing it really wants to do it. So we're all very enthusiastic about the process, and that's a really um, energizing environment to be in at the time. You know, as a writer, I tell stories. Is that basically at the heart of what you do as a cinematographer? That's exactly what we're doing. I mean, the cinematographer's job is to make real the vision and the story that the director is, is pursuing. And it's a conversation between the cinematographer and the, and the director about how do we get that vision? How do we, how do we capture it? And with documentary, it's also about how does that vision changing as we go? What are real events taking place that then mutate the original vision or enrich it somehow? So it's, a, it's an ongoing conversation as you, as you film. With um, This Is Home, is there a particular message or thought or story that you're hoping that people get from having watched your film? Yeah, it's, I think a lot of it is about transcending difference. Um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of general polarization in this country of, on all kinds of levels. And this film is really about making accessible an experience that is everyone's experience at the root of it. Um, 
So I really want people to come away from it feeling that they can relate to the people they're seeing on the screen and they understand them and they are touched by what's happened to them because it's something that may have happened to them as well. All right. Well, this is Layla Kilborn, and the film that she's here with this time is This Is Home, but she's an experienced sun dancer. Is that a verb? I don't know. We're well, going to make it one. Now, yeah. yeah, we just made it one. Um, and we just want to thank the Music Lodge for letting us be out here and talk to these wonderful people at Sundance. Thank you. Thank you very much.